The BFG, which is directed by Steven Spielberg and is based off of the novel of the same name by Roald Dahl, who brought us Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and um, probably a ton of other kids' books. But unfortunately, I didn't read this book as a kid, so seeing the movie going in, I really wasn't that excited about it. And it really wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. So the BFG is a story of about a girl named Sophie who lives at this orphanage. She's an orphan. Um, and she goes outside and looks out the window or whatever and sees uh, this giant out in the streets. And obviously she's never seen a giant before because in her world of existence they don't exist. Um, so she ends up meeting the giant and he's this big eared guy kind of like myself. Well his ears are bigger. But uh, he's a big eared guy and his name is the Big Friendly Giant. So they just call him BFG. Um, and then he whisks her off to giant, to giant country as they call it. Um, and he, Come to find out that he's actually the runt of several other giants, and they, he gets picked on a lot by all, all these other giants. Um, so it's a story of them basically overcoming that and then assimilating sort of giant country with the real world, I guess. Um, it's kind of an interesting story, but it just wasn't that interesting. Like I didn't, like I said, I didn't read the book as a kid. I didn't read the book recently, um, but just going off of what the story, I've been told it's very accurate to the book, the movie adaptation. Um, obviously, I don't know that, but it just wasn't that entertaining. Like, the visuals were absolutely amazing, um, but it didn't hold throughout the whole movie. The story, I felt, was kind of flat. Uh, the performances were all right. Like, the little girl did pretty good. The motion capture for the BFG was pretty awesome. Um, but other than that, it sort of fell flat for me. I just wasn't entertained. This movie is nearly two hours long. And I felt it. I felt like it was going on like Titanic time. Like this movie was long and boring. And it just didn't have enough entertainment value in my opinion. Especially for kids because this movie felt super long. It didn't have like great jokes. There was this running fart joke from 90% of the movie that just didn't feel right to me. I didn't like that aspect whatsoever. This fart joke? It is. Like they're like... They have this, okay, so they have this drink <laughs> that fizzes from the top down, and because it fizzes from the top down, when you drink it, it makes you fart instead of burp. And it is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in the world. And I, it's in the book, apparently. <laughs> I don't like it. It was so stupid. And the queen drinks the <laughs> fart drink, too. And they're like, oh, this is fun. <laughs> no, it's not fun. <laughs> it's a stupid fart joke that doesn't work. <laughs> anyway. There were just a lot of things about this movie that just didn't entertain me. The CGI was pretty good, but other than that, it wasn't that entertaining. Like, even the CGI, it was good. Like, when you first see the giant... It's amazing when you first see in Giant Country, it's super awesome. But after that, it sort of fades away because, like I said, this movie is long and it's drawn out and the story just wasn't there for me and I just did not like it whatsoever. I'm making this review super short because I did not like this movie. I just didn't like it whatsoever. The grade I'm gonna give the BFG, just being gratuitous for the graphics alone, I'm gonna give it a D because it just wasn't that great story-wise. It wasn't a film that I felt needed to be made. I feel like it's a low point for Steven Spielberg. It just wasn't that great, and I feel like you should definitely skip it. Maybe read the book. Maybe that'll add a little bit more imagination to it. I'm not sure. Like I said, I haven't read it. But it just didn't entertain me whatsoever, and I'd rather you just skip it because it's not worth your time. Guys, what is your favorite book to movie adaptation? Let me know down in the comment section below. Like always, thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share these videos and we'll see you in the next one.